Hey guys, Ash and one here. Welcome to this Final Fantasy VII Remake video for the Silver Trophy, Dress to the Nines. Obtain all nine Bridal Candidate outfits. Now the purpose of this video is to help you get through this as efficiently as possible. So with the minimum amount of playthroughs. We are going to be playing through Chapter 3, 8 and 9. And we will be doing this three times. Making different choices each time and doing a different number of side quests in each chapter. That way, we get all of the dresses for all three of the characters. So, let's get down to business, because this is going to be a long one. So we'll start with Tifa, whose three dresses are the blue dress, the Chinese dress, and the kimono. And which of these we are going to get all depends on the number of side quests we do in Chapter 3, and then the decision that we make when we unlock the discovery quest with Tifa alone at last, Next, then, we will look at Aerith's three dresses, and they are the simple pink dress, the pink dress, and the red dress. And which one of these we get will all depend on how many side quests we do in Chapter 8. There's nothing more to it than that, just how many side quests we do in Chapter 8. So finally, then, we have Cloud's three dresses, which are the black dress with a ribbon, the white and black dress with a tiara, and the blue and black dress with the black ribbon. So when it comes to Chapter 9, it all depends on whether or not we do any side quests at all, and then which set of side quests we do. Because depending on what answer you give to Chocobo Sam when describing Tifa, that will change up the set of side quests you get for this chapter. You'll either get quests from Sam himself, or you'll get quests from Madam M. But don't worry, I'm going to make all of this really simple for you. First off then, we have playthrough 1 in which we will stand in front of Don Corneo with Tifa in the Chinese dress, Aerith in the red dress, and Cloud in the blue and black dress with the black ribbon. So as this is the beginning of a playthrough, playthrough 1, we will start at chapter 3, and you are going to need to complete all six of these side quests. Chadley's Report, Rat Problem, Nuisance in the Factory, Just Flew In From The Graveyard, On The Prowl, and Lost Friends. So once you've done all six of these quests, the discovery quest alone at last will pop up. And it is here that you will make the decision for Tifa to be wearing the Chinese dress for this playthrough. And you will do that by choosing the option here, something sporty. Finally then, you just want to make sure that you do in fact complete chapter three before moving on to chapter eight. And you should have the main quest, the Jesse job, when you speak to Jesse outside your apartment, that signifies the end of chapter three and the start of chapter four. So then you can go into your chapter select and choose chapter eight, where we can start work on Aerith's dress for this playthrough. Now that we are in chapter eight, we want to make sure that we do all six of the following side quests. The Mysterious Moogle Merchant, Kids on Patrol, Weapons on a Rampage, Paying Respects, the Angel of the Slums, a verified hero. Now, if we do all six of these side quests, it means that Aerith will be wearing the red dress when stood in front of Don Corneo. So it's nice and easy to get from chapter eight to chapter nine. We just have to play it through chronologically. And when we get to chapter nine, we are going to have a decision to make when Chocobo Sam asks us to describe the girl we are looking for, AKA Tifa. So, Seeing as this is playthrough one, we are going to answer his question with, she's a great fighter. And in doing so, we will unlock a set of side quests from Sam himself, which he will give us later on in the chapter. And we have to do all three of these side quests, and they are... Burning Thighs, The Party Never Stops, and A Dynamite Body. So, if we do all three of these side quests, it means that Cloud will be wearing the blue and black dress with the black ribbon when we are stood in front of Don Corneo. And here we are in front of Don Corneo. So, we have Tifa in the Chinese dress, Aerith in the red dress, and Cloud in the blue and black dress. So what we want to do now is make sure that we actually complete the chapter. So let Don Corneo trick you, and when you wake up in the sewers, just use chapter select, and we can go to chapter three again, where we will start playthrough two. For playthrough two then, we will have Tifa in the kimono, Aerith in the pink dress, and Cloud in the white and black dress 
with the tiara. So for chapter 3, playthrough 2, you are going to do all six of the same side quests you did in the first playthrough, but this time we choose something exotic. And this will ensure that Tifa will be wearing the kimono when she stood in front of Don Corneo. So when we come through to chapter 8 for the second playthrough, you are only going to do between three and five of the side quests for this chapter. Don't do any more than five. I would advise doing three because it's quicker. And this way you will ensure that Aerith is wearing the pink dress when she comes to stand in front of Don Corneo. When we finally come through to chapter nine then for playthrough two, you will select the option she's great at handling the books when talking to Jocobo Sam. And this will mean that later on in the chapter, our side quest giver is going to be Madam M. And the side quests she gives us are Burning Thighs, The Price of Thievery and Shears Counter Attack. So as you can see, this is a different set from playthrough one. And if we do these three, it will ensure that Cloud is wearing the white and black dress with the tiara. Here we are in front of Corneo then for the second viewing. We have Tifa in her kimono. We have Aerith in the pink dress and Cloud in the white and black dress with the tiara. Just let Corneo dump you in the sewers again then. And we know it's safe to choose chapter three from chapter selection. And then we can go through the third and final playthrough. So finally, playthrough three. Tifa in the blue dress, Aerith in the simple pink dress and Cloud in the black dress with the white ribbons. In chapter three now for playthrough three, we want to do as little side quests as possible. Now online it says to do no side quests, but I can't see how you progress the main story without at least doing one. So just do the side quest rat problem and then that will open up the scene with Johnny to help you progress the main story. So finally, chapter eight and nine for the third playthrough, do zero side quests. Don't do any side quests in either of these chapters. And that means you will have Aerith with the simple pink dress and Cloud with the black dress with white ribbons when you're in front of Don Corneo. For the third and final time then, we have Tifa in the blue dress, Aerith in the simple pink dress and Cloud in the black dress with the white ribbons. So, if you have followed this walkthrough to the letter, you should receive the trophy earned dress to the nines. I got mine just outside the Honeybee Inn. And I must say, I am very glad to see the back of this trophy. Now, I talk about efficiency at the beginning of this video. So one thing you could consider is doing this on hard mode, because there are so many manuscripts you can get for just completing the chapters on hard mode the side quests, and also the Moogle Merchant, and the Colosseum. So what you could look at doing is play through one on hard mode, and then do chapter nine of play through two on hard mode, just for the different set of quests. Phew, so there we go. I hope this video was a help to you guys. Please leave a like if it was, and please subscribe to my channel, as there will be a hell of a lot more content coming for this game, and also other games. Thanks for watching guys, and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.